Hello my lovely year 13s and welcome to half term. Uh, I'm going to say half term holiday or a break because realistically it's not because it's about this time of year that people realise that the exams are actually really close and uh, start to panic a little bit but please do not panic, that is my job. I will do the panicking and the worrying for you so that you can just survive. Not of course that there is anything to panic or worry about because we've completely got this under control. So last week, advanced information for the exams were released. Yeah, that I did yesterday, talking about whether you need to revise everything, or the video I did where I actually explained everything that was in the exams, or the bit on my website where I tell you what is all in the exams. There is a link in the description down below that will take you through to all of those. But we now know, generally in ranked order, or in specification order, what is going to be on the exams. So we can use that to direct our revision a little bit. But only a little bit, because we do need to revise everything, especially at A level, even more so than GCSE. There is very, very few topics that you get taught that are not on the exams, because the exams are longer and there are generally more exams than at GCSE. So while it may seem that GCSE students have been told that lots of stuff isn't on the exams, and you've been told that there's lots of stuff on the exams, unfortunately that's just the way that it always is at A level. You're not being treated harshly that's just generally everything got examined at some point in a level it's just which paper it was on so what i want you to spend half term doing is getting your revision focused and sorted and we're going to kind of have like a and a break from revision just a little little one and we're going to do come kind of some admin and some organization and getting sorted so if you don't have them already a list of what you need to know now this can be as technical as getting the specification and printing off and putting it in your beautifully organized folders or it can be the free checklist that i've got over my website or it can just be the contents page of your revision guide anything that we know is definitely not on the exams cross it off but be really careful you only cross off that specific bit and you don't go too far in what you're crossing off now remember even if something isn't listed it might still come up on the exams we've been given the topics that are the major focus of the exams but that still might only make up 70 percent of the marks we know that things that aren't listed can have multiple choice questions and if you're doing a level uh, science for example we know a whole chunk of the paper is multiple choice and if you're not going to revise everything you might as well just ignore that question that whole section and just you're just giving up a load of marks already so you are still going to have to revise stuff but the stuff that is listed um as being on the exams spend a bit more time focusing your revision on make sure you understand that really well but always remember there is a risk that that topic because if it's in ranked order um it's gonna have the most marks might be the very last question on the exam and it might be a very long multi-step calculation question and if you know you can't do those questions don't just revise that topic because th there's a risk you still won't be able to do the question um you still need to revise everything and pick up the marks on all of the low tariff questions as well because marks are important now what you need to do in this kind of like admin organization is highlight the bits which we know are going to be the major focus on the exam highlight the bits which we know aren't going to be on the exam highlight the bits that you know maybe you don't know very well and then set about planning your revision between now and April. After April, things are going to change a little bit because we're just going to be focused on doing exam papers. But at the moment, we just need to focus on really, really understanding topics. So when you're doing a revision session, spend like 20 minutes making notes on a topic. So watch my videos, using the textbooks, using your notes from class. And this can be, you know, you can do like a little video presentation or you can do like a PowerPoint or you can just make notes, however it works for you. Then spend 20 minutes doing short answer recall questions so you can make sure you can remember just remembering the facts not anything else just remembering the facts because we can't apply stuff until we know what to apply so do multiple choice questions on my website 
or any short answer retrieve the questions that you've been given by your teacher and then in the third 20 minutes take that and see if you can answer kind of like a long exam question or if you can turn that into an essay somehow so we're talking kind of like the really long multi-step exam questions you know that eight markers um in science some of the really long questions in math can you do those based on what revision you've done and that is a really really great way to take the information and make sure that you can learn it recall everything and then actually apply it in an exam situation now planning out your revision is going to be important there are a few ways that you can do this over on my website there are some free to download revision plans I made for you now these start in January and I'm not updating these for the advanced information because I don't have time because I'm busy updating the predicted papers for you um but you can just download those print them off and just do what it says whatever topic it says on that day and the biology chemistry and maths ones all fit together so where I've told you to do a paper you're not going to be doing a biology paper a chemistry paper and a maths paper on the same day um ideally we planned it like that and you're not going to have three topics three subjects having rest days on the same day um because i planned things the other thing that you can do is start to plan your vision in advance using something like this so a study timetable um they use down here these are blank so you can fill it in your own times because not everyone gets home from school at the same time some of you will have jobs some of you have commitments picking like little brothers and sisters up after school some of you've got to make dinner and do stuff then there is a subject tracker down here so you can make sure that you are spending time doing your high priority subjects so the ones you need to get the higher grades in to get onto your course next year separate space for the weekends a little doodle pad and then habit tracker and me tracker down here because these things are important to keep count of the other thing you can do which involves absolutely no effort at all is get the adapt app now this is a brilliant app where it's completely free you put in your exams like what exam board you're doing and then it will plan your vision out for you so that you can just tell it what you're doing when and it will tell you back what you what subject you need to focus on that day so that you don't have to worry about planning your vision because it does it for you and what we want is for you to spend your time focusing or revising the stuff that's actually going to come up in the exam, not spending time focusing on planning revision. Now, I'm sure some of you have got mocks uh, coming up after half term or have had them already. So you may feel the pressure to start doing loads and loads and loads of exam papers. I'm going to say hold off because I still think it's a little bit too soon to be doing loads of exam papers. You need to do call out the 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. And really become an expert in a topic before like we throw ourselves into an exam situation and you're you're confronted with lots of topics all at once after easter things will change um and that's what we'll start doing um but please don't worry guys i'm gonna be getting stuff out as quickly as i can to help you um and you and me we are gonna get through this together i'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.